How hello and welcome back to Wiki Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. We have nine mods, ships, trains, the whole shebang. First, uh, again, disclaimer, there's a lot of a lot of good mods there, you should go and check them out, you should go and give a chance to every modder if you have time. I'm only presenting something that caught my eye and that I'm gonna be using my Let's Plays, so, and especially now with the new Alaska series, uh, a lot of these mods is gonna be used there as well. So let's get started. Mr. Seslav, uh, Wooden Houses, it's just a remake of old mod from Comrade Joe, you have a link to his mod as well. You have skins for these buildings as well if you want to change them, uh, they're all released recently, it's the last couple of days. Unlike the Joe's mod, no road access to the building needed, added self-heating, decreased quality of life and changed resource of construction. Mod also rebuilt for a new multiple texture systems, so there's only one building and several textures for it. You you can see it in description of the video. Mr. Novu is back. We have two mods from Mr. Novu. These are just one mod. These are the kilns, brick production kilns. So, how does this work? You have two different buildings that look the same, but they're actually not. One of them uses coal to make bricks, like the vanilla one, but the other one uses wood. Uh, this is quite realistic because in this case the wood or the coal is used as a fuel to bake the bricks and the basic, basic material for creating bricks is actually soil or the um, dirt. You have to f shape it in the, well, special one. Anyway, uh, check out the description of the video. And another one from Mr. Novo, Asphalt Mixer. This is again something that we're going to be using in our Alaska series, uh, probably for expansion. This is Industrial Pack. Uh, it ha Mr. Novo has a lot of mods. This is just two of them that I'm presenting here. You have concrete batching. You have a lot of a lot of mods uh, uh, regarding small industries. So go in the description of the video, check out Mr. Novo's work. But this is Asphalt Plant. Asphalt Plant comes into two different models. One of them is with asphalt paving, and the other one is without. Uh, both of them are more or less the same, nothing special, it just doesn't have the asphalt base basin there. You can see that the same materials are required for creating of the asphalt. Here you need bitumen, and in this case you need fuel also to for asphalt to be processed. Check out the link in the description. Mr. Gorbachev strikes again uh, with panelaki or panel buildings. You can see here different models. I believe it's 5, 7, 9, 10 and 12 stories high uh, with different capacities. This is 100, 100 140, 180, 200 and 240. Uh, residents respectfully. Uh, you can check out more details in the description. There's a description in Russian as well as English. Check out the link. What would an episode be without Mr. Robs? This is a TV station, regional TV, uh, television station based on a real building in... No, it's Shechin this time. Poland employs 60 workers with basic education and 35 actors or presenters. So you can check out this building. Uh, like uh, like you know, already know, I'm actually a big fan of realistic buildings from real life and this is one of them. Looks magnific magnificent. It has a small footprint and looks like a big studio over there. Anyway, li uh, check out the link in the description of the video. So, we spoke enough about the buildings, let's start with the vehicles. This one is CSDEM475.1. Uh, you have description in Czech and also you have description in English. This is a class EM for electric motor car unit. It is an electric multiple unit operating on 3 kilowatt overhead wires produced in Vag Gonka, Wagunka, Wagunka, Tatra, Studenka since 1964, a single unit consists of... It's actually several units, you have to build this train. You can find it in, if you go and uh, check out your train sets, and you, because we have everything unlocked, you can you have it here under CSD. There are several different models that you can choose from, and also you can then build your own, uh, your own train how you want it to be, so uh, bear that in mind. They have two directional if you wish to do so. I believe this one is a little bit darker colored, but don't quote me on that, because they, they, you cannot choose any other 
colors at least you can hear uh, you can choose different color over here let's see if we can put something different you can see here how how it differs from other ones anyway this is something different something new and something that i'm gonna be using Mr. Dibbendrul, this is uh, his well-known modder and this is amazing, amazing mod. This is an extremely <laughs> long description of every single vehicle in both English and Russian. So this is a set of vehicles, Gaz slash 51 part 1, so obviously there's gonna be more of them. I only built several of them uh, just to present it. This is for trees, I believe, fell trees. And then you have the uh, ones that can carry crops or livestock or anything like that. This is something I'm gonna be using in our Alaska series. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the vehicles you can see here. This is the eight of them I bought with a different color schemes, but uh, you know the rules. You know the drill how it looks like. I'm gonna scroll all the way in the back because this is the last mod I subscribed to so regarding the vehicles you can see there's a huge huge amount of vehicles all of these this is nine of them here plus seven of them here that would be 16 different vehicle types this is really detailed really nice mod you really need to check this out and I'm gonna stop saying really but this is this is amazing I'm loving this this is something that probably I'm gonna introduce in our new series Alaska that you can follow on our channel and uh, I'm gonna be loving it <laughs> second of it uh check description for the link okay we have a coastal pack 1.2 made by wild bunny so this is kumo set of building a uh, set of boats uh there's there's five of them i think let's check real quickly here if we go for cargo ships there should be in the in the end here uh, actually of course i was wrong one two three kumo uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, I think there are six of them in this mod. So we have one, two, three, and then we have two over here. Am I missing one of them? I'm missing one of them. But anyway, there's... No, there's, there's one, two, three... Anyway, there's six of them. So, uh, you can see here Kumo ships. This is for the, uh, general cargo. We have one for... Uh, this is also for ma uh, construction materials and again one for general cargo over here it's a really nice and detailed model detailed models and I <laughs> caught my eye probably prob probably even in our series we're gonna be using these boats they're a little bit smaller and compared to other ships you can see here that they're um, quite affordable quite quite affordable I'm not sure if you guys think that's realistic or not I'm not big into the ship business and uh, let me know in the comment section they cost between 100 150 117,000 all the way up to 232,000 which is uh, more or less significantly less than some of the big ships we already have but uh, shipping is really expensive and starting there this is definitely going to give you a little bit of a head start in the shipping industry check out the link in the description for the link to the to the mod and finally we have our map this is a marble county made by strawberry jam strawberry jam jam made a uh, marble county based on a semi-functional region based in real life in montana state us while landscape is real most of the uh, part of the road grid are functional as well as a national park in the southeast of the map but anyway this is something i find really really interesting i like the canyons i like the flatlands and also mountains they look quite detailed they look um, challenging and this is something that um, that's going to be interesting for you guys who's going to give it a go now resources on the other hand are decent are decent most of them are in the big mountains that is going to be challenging to get to as previously mentioned uh, oil resources are in the marshy areas over here you can see let's call it that this is no this is a lake you can see that um, they already said that this is a uh, Bowdoin lake uh, this marshy area over here it's full of oil so if you want to start digging in that's the place to go there is no there is no uranium but there's a lot of bauxite so like I said all the ores uh, and all the resources are in challenging area it's gonna be a little bit more tricky to get to them uh, but this is also 
this map gives you a lot of flatlands to start off processing importing resources if you're not gonna go for for the ones in the hillside anyway this is a really really nice map check it out in the description of the video let me know what you think and we're gonna conclude for this one i'm gonna say one more time guys there's a lot of a lot of nice mods you should check them all out mr novo mr robs mr gorbachev uh, they make a lot of mods i only present piece of them and you should go and check out the rest of them that were, came out in last week even before that there's over 3000 of them we have a lovely little community and let's try to support each other guys uh happy monday have a lovely day and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye